Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm not alone, I'm with Olwetu and we're going to be shooting one video that um, is going to be very beneficial to many many first years. It is a video on how to survive your first year of university. We all know it's overwhelming, change and all of that so we thought Let's just share some of the things that we encountered and things that we believe that uh, will be helpful to you guys. But before we get into the video, please remember to subscribe, do like this video, share it, and leave your comments down below. So, yes, all of you, do you still remember your first year? Definitely. And yeah, your first year was two months ago, but uh, it's, not, it's not something one can forget. So we obviously have a few points that we just want to talk about regarding like your first year. And for me as well, um, looking back, I still remember my first year of university. Mm -hmm. I was straight out of matric. It was 2010. We had the World Cup in South Africa. Here was I, living the Northwest, going to Bloemfontein to start a new life. I was excited and also I was very, very nervous and I didn't know what was going to happen up there and you know what I went there with faith I knew that I wanted this freedom this mm. independence but it was also overwhelming mm. so let's get into some of the tips that we believe that will help you make a success of your first year firstly uh, for me I would say that go to as many lectures as possible you can go to all your lectures but try to go to as many as possible i know senior students will tell you that you don't have to go to classes yes we don't take register no one's going to force you to go but i believe that if you go you then you are doing half of the work yeah. so you get back home you reflect back on your lectures on that day and it is not that difficult other than when you're starting from scratch and then you have to do everything yourself then wow sometimes you get so overwhelmed because you don't understand the concepts and yeah yeah, I also think because like lectures can be a full and steady session, how effective the lectures are will depend on you. I think preparing before going to class, maybe just looking at what are the outcomes for this lecture and getting there and listening attentively and making a few notes, even draw like a mind map, mm -hmm. make it a full on study session. So when you go back, you just fill in the blanks, like if you left spaces with like listening to the lecture. So it's not completely new. And not going to class is a disadvantage to yourself as well because you need to use as many methods as possible like you need to hear what they say maybe like writing the notes will help you and like when you're reading again like just try to use as many study methods as possible so that helps you a bit with the listening part of studying yeah so yeah we both know like waking up in the morning is hard but do go to your lectures I mean, you've been doing it for the last 12 years, like off school, so it's not really like that much of an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mentors. I think mentors are very important. I don't know about other universities, but I know Stellenbosch like, gives you a mentor, a mentor, which is an academic mentor. And there are also a lot of other systems that are in place to actually help you with your academics and your overall well-being. So make use of your mentors. Go to them if you have like like a life mentor, go cry in their rooms. Like mm. they get paid to take care of you, but also they definitely want to like help you and mentors, send them questions. Like if you're up to date with your studies and you don't understand what's going on, send them like a message, ask for meetings. You can do that, like utilize the resources provided to you. And if your university doesn't like give you uh, that opportunity to actually have a mentor, I think you can meet people around campus mm -hmm. and just find out if there's anyone willing to mentor you. Even if you have a mentor and you're not comfortable with them, then if there's someone you're more comfortable with them, then it's still fine. You can like approach them and ask. Like, students are very, like a lot of people are very keen to help hmm. and like being a mentor sounds cool. So Yeah, everyone would want to do it. <laughs> and I would say that do ask for help. Hmm. Sometimes we have pride and then you feel like, I know if I ask for help, it's going to mean that I'm weak. But you know what? Ask for help, a lot of people are willing to help you. Yeah. And also with uh, finding a mentor, find good role models. Mm. Find the people that you look up to. Seniors are more than willing to help. Not everyone is going to be willing to help you, but there are people that are 
going to be willing to help you. Don't drown in work. Mm -hmm. Transitioning from high school to university is a lot of work. It is overwhelming. So it is okay to feel like you don't belong, I'm out of place, but that's when you start reaching out to other people. That's when you, you, you utilize your mentors and uh, you will see before you know it, university will be like a home away from home and you'll be enjoying yourself. So yeah, firstly we say I go to your lectures, two, find a mentor, Three, I would say that definitely try to join a club or society on campus. We both know that we are more than our academics. I mean, yeah. you can love uh, studying and all of that, but for you as a person to coexist with others, you are more than your studies. Find things that you love. I love YouTube, so for me, YouTube is my club. Someone else might love music, so they will join a choir. Someone else would be into green things, so they will go for sustainability. So do that, do find something on campus that you love doing. Join a running club if you love jogging. Then that way you get to meet other people, you get to build relationships with other people on campus and you get to enjoy yourself. Apart from your studies, you get to grow also as a human holistically. I agree with everything Tepe said. Also, like you make friends, like you get to make friends with mm. people who share the same interests as you, which is like very important. You don't want to find yourself in a friendship group where people like nothing that you like, but actually, if you're a part of a society, let's say it's a hiking society, you enjoy hiking, you enjoy mm. the nature, so you can have friends to do those things with more than just being a part of the society. It's like an opportunity to make new friends and just like do things together. You see, um, and also, you know what the thing with friends? You don't have to keep the same friends. You Thank can you. chop and change them as you go. I mean, if you feel like this friend is not that friend for me, you drop them and then you find your people. That's what happens. Um, sometimes uh, you join people and then you become friends and then you click and then you are brothers and sisters for life and then that's wonderful, but if it's not working out, you're not allowed to mm. change. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It just means that uh, your journey with that person would have ended. For me, I was very fortunate and lucky that uh, the friends that I made, both at Kofsis and here, we're still friends by now. It happens sometimes, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. But yeah, so choose your friends wisely. Um, I don't know, like... Our parents always say that uh, the people that you hang around with usually reflect the type of person that you are. Yeah. So you can't expect to thrive in life if your friends are not the type of people that would take you to greater heights. Mm -hmm. So if they hinder your progress, that's it. More like you're more than welcome to be like. <laughs> okay, so just don't go around or orientation. I made a lot of friends. And it was not actually proper friends. I was just chilling with this group and that group and that group. And then at the end of the day, I realized that I actually don't have friends because this group that I chilled with, it's a friendship group and then another one and then another one. After orientation, I found myself like, oh, now I just have a bunch of acquaintances and I don't have any friends. <laughs> so like, avoid jumping around a lot because you're going to end up alone. Uh, but you're more than welcome to like change your friends. But also, um, just first check out the waters. Don't just like mm. commit immediately. So I just think that's just something worth mentioning. I mean, I met Tepo in my first year and we're still friends. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's great. And investing in friendships, if you actually like the people, like you want to be friends with them, mm. do things together. Uh, like mention, I want to go to this concert, do you want to come with? Of course. It's if you invest in friendships, then people will feel like you want them in your life. Mm. Then you can do things. You can do friendship together. True. Yeah. And please, please, yeah. please, if there is one thing that I would like to say to you, mm -hmm. um, when you're like a first year in university, please be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you still remember like uh, the mark that you got for your first test? AFM, it humbled me. <laughs> yes. I was humbled. It was actually like 63%. But also, it if you come back, no, I passed, but also it was that thing with see, I must get like a distinction thing. Ah, you know. I studied. No, listen. I studied because I was talking to the first test with Hamilton. I'm like, no, I'm not going to show that. I'm going to come with the distinction. Where? <laughs> Where? You know what? My thing is, at least you passed yours. I remember, like, for me, it was back in BSc, uh, the lectures were too fast for me. And my first test was physics. I didn't pass that test. And mind you, I am the same person who had just passed his metric with distinction. I was yeah. number one in my school. I was this god. And now I'm in this new environment and 
it was just not happening. So I would say to you, be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. If your mark drop, it is to be expected that sometimes the mark would drop. I came from a village whereby we were taught in Sutwana, my maths was done in Sutwana, mm -hmm. my physics was done in Sutwana. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a different environment. They are teaching in English. Mm -hmm. The pace is too fast. Now there's no chalkboard, there's projections. So for me, it was like an internal conflict where I had to adjust. So in that process, wherever I was adjusting, there was a drop in my mark. But once I had adjusted, the marks went up again. Mm -hmm. So don't be too hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. And also, like we said, ask for help yeah that's the thing that really helped me was when i reached out and i asked for help and you know what i started thriving so yeah that's one of the tips that we would give you guys any other tips um, that you would give i think it's mostly like getting out of campus like explore your environment explore mm -hmm. where you are like i've heard people say i can't wait to get out of cape town like I'm sorry that you feel that way, but also you mean compass. You mean kind of to get out of compass because Cape Town is beautiful. There's so yeah. much you can do. You have to get out there, leave in Cape Town, like go hiking, go to the beach, do all these fun things. Don't just stay in one place because you're ashamed. No, compass can become a lot. Yeah. And also, you know what, with the whole exploring the city, mm -hmm. um, sometimes the mistake that we make as students is thinking that you need so much money to go out. But you know what, there are student deals, there are mm -hmm. places that you can go to that are cheaper. You can do things with your friends yeah. outside. So you don't have to do these extravagant things that we see on Instagram that look so expensive and then you feel like you need to live this Instagram life. You can still do things on your student budget. Yes. And there are websites, you can literally go to Google and say, top 20 free things to do in Cape Town. True. You will be surprised. Like, going to First Thursday is, is free. Going to the beach with a picnic, like, make bread or take fruit. And you go mm. have a picnic, it's done. Like, you can live your best life without using a lot of money in Cape Town. True. It's possible. And also, please, 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 don't forget to budget. Yes. That's the mistake that most people make. You buy these expensive things, you buy these brand deals and all of that. You know what? If you can buy something cheaper, do that. Save those coins. You might use them to buy yourself that shoe that you saw, those jeans. Don't be like all you two and be addicted to it. What is it? <laughs> Superbulous. I, I, was, I was hoping you were not going to mention that, but you guys know. Online shopping, it's a trip. Don't it's do it. It's a trip. Yo, don't do it. They will let's up on your phone, delete it. <laughs> right now, like delete right now. You can always make yourself food. <laughs> yes. Like, okay, online shopping is really a trip. I'm not even joking. Uh, I think you ha just get used to your budget. Okay, if you want to spend money on yourself, some, like maybe at the end of the month, you want to get yourself something cute, like a dress, let it be on your budget. Don't just like go. When I'm stressed, I'll go and I start looking. I love clothes. I love shoes. <laughs> shoes are my biggest addiction. I own so many shoes. I can't even. So just know. Like stay in your lane. And also talk to your parents. My mother threatened to actually get me to see a counselor because she believes I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Stay away from online shopping. So you see, budget. Stay away from online shopping. Delete the food apps on your phone. <laughs> And please, most importantly, get out of your room more mm. often. It is very, very easy in university for you to disappear. Mm. If you stay in your room, you don't go out, people are bound to forget about you sometimes, mm. especially in first day, because people don't know you. So please try to get out more. If you feel like you're overwhelmed, like we said, you can't make new friends and all of that, you're more than welcome to drop me a Facebook inbox and Instagram DM. I will probably share some of the tips that I used to make friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm probably one of the most crazy people. I walk up to people and start speaking to them and say all the crazy things, but wish you wouldn't do. But uh, as an introvert myself, uh, yeah. He's very good with friends. He literally walked up to me and he was like, Hey, my <laughs> fame! I'm like, I'm your fame! Friend! Like, that was like my life. You know, everyone everyone was was my life. So, at first it makes you feel special. <laughs> and then you realize, I thought he's saying the same thing to about 20 more people. Is there anything more that you would like to add to these tips? Um, on self-care, like what does it mean for you to take care of yourself? What do you mean? Because we always think about, it's important to take care of yourself, be kind to yourself. Like, what do you think about? Like, what concepts are more important to you? For self-care, mm. for me, like I had said, it is uh, not putting too much pressure on yourself. 
not trying to be this incredible human being and knowing that you are a human being, you have your own flaws, you're not perfect, you are perfect with your imperfections and also, you know, taking some time out sometimes, you just need to take some time out, be with yourself, reflect and see um maybe this is where i'm going wrong this is how i can get better so yeah, yeah for me that is self-care self-care most importantly if i love watching generations best believe i'll still go on youtube and watch it yeah that test that is coming up in two weeks can wait because this is now my time this is my escape um i want to watch this show so that is self-care for me mm -hmm. doing the things that you love if i love running um like now I would still run and still do my studies. Now yeah. I love YouTube. I will still do YouTube and still be a medical student. So, yeah. yeah. For me, it also goes to keep hydrated. It's drink very water. hard right now. <laughs> keep that drink water. And sleep is important. Like, give yourself enough hours. Like, seven hours of sleep is, is vital. Because you can't function, like, when you're so tired all the time. Um, what, food. The food you eat is very important. Mm. Like noodles. I know people tell you if you're a student, you must have about noodles and bread. Listen, this is your body. Take care if you take good care of your body, if you eat the right nutrients, like also prepare nice food. You know how happy you get after cooking a nice meal. Mm. You can even get happy <laughs> eating again. You're just like, ah, oh, this is nice. But I mean so food preparation, look at what works for you. You can prepare food for three days, but like get good food, like good nutrients and breakfast. I think breakfast is very important. Mm. It's important. I just look at like diets that can be easy for you to follow and by protein I, I'm very passionate about food I'm sorry but protein I mean you can get it from seeds so if you buy muesli look at what seeds are there you can still get your, your breakfast protein from seeds so that's also very important stay hydrated food um I don't know about gymming necessarily you can go to the gym but you don't have to you can take walks it's still mm. good if you stay on the fourth floor the stairs are also your mini gym <laughs> But like, just take care of your body. Yeah, thank you so much, Oluetu, for joining us and for all the advices. So guys, to prevent this video from being too long, yeah. I'm just going to cut it here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to leave your comments. If you have any further questions, please list them down there and I will definitely, definitely reply. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to see more of all the two, please do send your request and she will definitely be back. She will be seeing more of her because <laughs> this year we're taking this YouTube thing very seriously. We're having vlogs, right? Uh -huh. uh, more sit down videos, yeah. and you guys can even give us suggestions on what kind of videos you guys would like mm -hmm. me to make. And yeah, thank you for watching and keep on taking care of yourself. Bye! Bye!